Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to get uh, or trying to prevent to get completely slaughtered and overrun by the hundreds of imbalanced enemies that we have installed. Well, it's time for another Operation Operation Heavy Fog and Heavy Fog lies upon my heart when I think about all of the civilians that are soon going to be slaughtered. We have, I think, one one single haven assault, and this here might be the second one, but I do have my doubts. We're fighting against a lot of psionic enemies, and I figured to spice things up, we bring a team that still needs experience, Timbit, Aviator, Jeranx, and Shinrod. Uh, we got uh, Vendieu uh, to help them with a big fat sniper rifle, and we got Ruru for the first time, one Fitzgerald Ruru. Uh, one of the trained Psy operatives. He is now almost fully trained So might as well use him in combat uh, To just have a little bit of fun with the Psy operatives and I don't know if we're going to be able to really withstand the enormous pressure But the Psy operative will make it at least possible for us to crowd control a couple of the enemies. Let's go. Our people are doing what they can to All right, that. we landed. Got some soft high ground up here. Few soldiers there and more in the dark. We have no <coughs> concealment at the moment. And we also did not get a great deal of um, enemy soldiers that are double agents for us so this time it needs to happen without a double agent my idea would be to sort of go alongside here and then try our best to to use the high ground um, I tell you what, just in case there is someone down there, let's overwatch. Since I mentally don't believe that we're going to win, there's no uh, point, uh, no problem for me to take it a bit slower. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. They are either there or on the rooftop or on, in both uh, locations. The they couldn't be on our side and they typically are not uh, on the enemy side either. Could only had three shots. Eh, Python already took damage. I don't want a damaged toy. Can't hit more than one at the moment. That is a bit unfortunate. position ourselves there is very limited cover all over the place we want to get our turrets out at the beginning Oh, could have taken a shot before him. Well, never mind. Roger that. Oh, 
Okay, let's put a couple of uh, turrets down. Oh, I remember these guys have thick scales. Yep. Moving out. Let's see if we trigger something else. Nope, the answer's not. One, two, three, four. I think the striker does have close combat quarters on us. Not sure, but let's see. Yeah, he does. Okay, that sucks. But I think it only triggers once, right? Yeah, okay. position a turret over here or we're keeping it what's the play Saiken what's the play certainly not null lens because we're too far away mm -hmm. we don't want to cluster up So the play is to put a lot of turrets down. Oh, cool. All of these guys do have tactical analysis going. Commander. But that does not keep them uh, from attacking us. Shogoth. Again, sounds like chocolate and also looks a little bit like it. Resistance fighters are going in. Focus fire, I like what I'm seeing. Nope. Let's try that again. Fifty fifty does not hit. down and yeah we're starting to clear out uh, his cover hmm good listen I mean a couple of obvious things here right Timbit doesn't like you and therefore you get uh, the Express from Shattered Realm. The Realm Express as they call it. Overwatch successfully removed. all of the cover that's not bad Let's move already. aviator moves
completes his movement to there. No problem, boss. I think you're melting. Good. Fitzgerald shows him why psy uh, psionic characters are overpowered. Yep, that's six damage into full cover, ignores all armor. Just like that. I'm ready. And we're just going to kill him. Well, almost that is. Overwatch passed on two. Aviator. On Overwatch. We've nicely built up our little base here. Damn it. Vanitors. Their actual damage is not too bad, but their stuns and all of their other actions is pretty obnoxious. Perch Commando really just moved up and completely shed on them. Could I take over a Venator? And if it would split into two would that mean i keep the clone i know that the normal uh, code uh, codexes do not work like that Ranks needs to get closer. His shotgun is just not accurate enough to deal with that. Moving to, designated Moving to the perch commando. And that finally seals the deal. This has a chance of disorienting them. Fifteen to seventeen. It's almost a kill. Almost. And it's a free sniper shot. We have a chance to kill it. Ah, just barely did not make it but that's okay well i shouldn't say it's okay it is obnoxious that you still receive so much damage from them but it is how these guys function right So single hit, 15 to 17. These guys are chilling at 17. I need to chain shot, otherwise we're not going to kill it. 
Specifically not if they have dodging on top of it. You can't handle me. A little bit of clone arena. Inspire there. That's the cool part about the Psy operatives. They can be whoever they want. And at the moment, he wants to be a grenadier. An aviator. Wants to kill the guy. Fails doing, uh, doing so. Luckily, we have a teamwork as a backup. really don't want to fight with them another time. How many is that now? I'm running low on ammo. Hair trigger, I think we're just reloading. Done. Shinrod carefully moves up. Drinks with his shotgun. Needs to move closer. And we're having a couple of overwatches. Almost, almost. Beautiful. I'm up. Still up. Guardian, keep on fighting. Yep. Come on, Shinrod. More Guardian. Yep. Keep on going on this guy. Well, that's a pretty beefy pack. Biggest problem from my perspective is we haven't really done anything wrong, but we've already lost a lot of uh, civilians. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. This guy teleports up there, okay, cool. Let's first of all use the turrets, shall we? Shields removed. He just shot them through the floor. Love it. Can we kill the Venator in any other way?
So we're giving ourselves an aid protocol because we're very soon going to trigger Overwatch. Then run and gun into flanking position. We do have threat assessment on top of it. Oh, nice. Good to meet you. That sergeant has taken a hit, which means now we should be able to simply kill him. Taking that bio assault trooper. Likely not. Where is uh, that other massive enemy? Hmm. There is a chance for a grenade. Just getting this one down. Tired of waiting around. There's still a Venator down there. Okay, well, we gotta take care of uh, that guy. But in the meantime. Oh. Let's make sure the bio assault is going down. Orders confirmed. On the move. Venator has the highest priority. Wow, it still hit everyone. Drinks is in full cover. Cellar turret moves up as well. And I think we still have that problem with stupid deflect. Good, let's see how well we can do with that burst. Hit, deflect, deflect. Am I the only one that thinks this is a bit crazy? How much deflection do you want? And the answer is yes. I want it all. I wish we could bend that a bit more. Maybe this hits. My lance pierces all. Are we for this? It does. What a beautiful null lens. Evolution cannot be stopped. And then there is the dreadnought. <clears throat> By the way, I wonder why there was never an option to really upgrade kind of your resistance havens. Um, 
I know it makes it a bit more complex, but I think small upgrades in the GTS for resistance uh, fighters would have gone a long way. Say standard ammunition, uh, standard armor, and maybe a few more skills. I think the the problem is uh, somehow the weapon upgrade wasn't really passed on to them. I remember vaguely that in standard uh, War of the Chosen they at least get better weapons and the breakthroughs and so on. So that's fine. But yeah, having them shoot with plasma weapons and just having a few more hit points, basic stat padding, that would be helpful. Or, if that's too much, give them smoke grenades, give them med kits, and let them actually heal others. So, in other, word, uh, in other words, be useful and not just a liability. Let's move already. Target still up. Uh, how do we deal with that guy? And before you ask, no, the answer we don't is unacceptable. Just trying to get rid of all of his cover with the turrets. Could have just used uh, demolition. Ah, that was short sighted. Give him a heal. See, that's yet again another shot. That one that is not ultimately not successful. Closing on target position now. Timid, the closest that he can do is shoot from here. Ten percent mind control. No, thank you. Got it. Free reload. Uh, I guess be okay. Moving up. Getting into a better position because we need to move on even after that guy is dead. And moving over here. Stasis. Sucks to do that, but. It is unfortunately what it is. Good. Need a short break. So we have taken him out. Next stop naturally would be to go to here.
Good. A bit of overwatch and we're fine. Continue. Yeah, that's where the problem starts. So far it looked okay, but unless we can reach these guys in due time, we will not be able to save enough of the enemies. Uh, of the civilians. They're not really enemies, Saiken. They are on your side. And the problem here is just too many of them are dying in one round because everybody is activated. It's the same problem that we had many, many times with a yellow alert. You end up with anywhere between two and four rescued ones from the first um, from the first branch and then you just can't rescue the others these two or three can be rescued the rest will very likely die <coughs> because they won't be able to get one of them down in time Who knows, maybe they kill one boa, but the point still stands. I don't see how they can realistically stay uh, stay there for long enough unless we like run in. That's just not happening. Finally. Good, we're moving as we are shooting. Careful move to here. Oh boy, are you telling me? It just told me I can't see him. Oh. Let's try to not be annoyed. Copy that. Stock is okay. Back Maybe we'll just get a companion out of this. The answer is no. Okay. We're already seeing the next enemies. hopefully can hit this guy the number of 50 60 percent shots that we have been missing against the Andromedon is actually ridiculous Another 50-50, and thank God, this time it was all a an elaborate plan. We first of all needed to boost his stats before we then hack him. Good, turret moves up. On my way. Timbit, aka Shattered Realm, moves up.
We could hit it with a void. That could disorient him. <clears throat> Why not? Let's just try to deal as much damage as possible for now. We definitely have the strength to go and fight the others. The problem still remains. The others do have more actions and are unloading on civilians. Nice, great hit. Good job, Shattered Realm. They retaliate with a bit of damage. And a bit more. Damn it, too many enemies. <clears throat> Alright, on top of it, an Archon Valkyrie and a Brute. Good. What? Fire a beam of the Dreadnought. Okay. So even the suit can f uh, still fire a Dreadnought beam. Or an acid bomb. Six points of damage. Wow. That suit is good. All we need to do is get it closer to the front line. <laughs> okay. Can't inspire the suit, I think, right? No, we can't. Okay. Would have potentially been asking for a little bit too much. Shattered Realm continues his absolute carnage. To get a berserker or berserker prime if that is possible turret doesn't take shit from anyone either We'll do a quick gremlin heal. <clears throat> and then we're continuing to move up. Let's do this. Okay. Lightning hands. Check it before you get too close. 
killed the boar. Delicious. Eighty-four percent. That's I think that's as good as it gets. A protocol for an extra overwatch to Timbert. And that should have been a hit. Now my follow-up plan doesn't really work out. Well, we could still do it. Damage into cover. Which then is followed by damage into cover. Which then is followed One, two, to three. by damage into cover ish. I haven't even checked the civilian count. I'm so detached from the idea of being able to win this. Bazooka Prime? Okay. We are no, Firestarter Prime, we which is the worst one. version of a Berserker. Civilian casualties are too high, Commander. This resistance cell isn't going to make it. We should still try and save whoever we can and clear the area of hostiles, but don't take any ch Well, we've officially lost the mission. Could we have played it better? I don't know. It's a bit disheartening because it often happens on those missions. And there's only so much I can do, like... We moved in. <clears throat> I did not hesitate to engage. We've been fighting every single round. We've been using our actions well. Still didn't work out. No. Well, that one is the one that we're looking for, but I do not. I do want to hit it into normal cover, not full cover. Okay, that's the boar. Let's free it up, uh, free up the cover. The boy is standing over here, by the way. Shots all across the battlefield. <sighs> A 
miss. The one thing that I did not want to happen was a miss. The other challenge is boars don't let uh, loose unless you actually kill them. Kill the boar. Very good. Shadow Realm is set free. And we're face offing. Taking this guy into stasis because we can. We are then inspiring to kill a couple more. Let's get that brute down. You want some more weapons burning ammo fast? Let's rock. Could hit either of them. Tell you what, um, we are giving our aid protocol a plus threat assessment over to Timbit because Shattered Realm actually has a relatively decent position there. There's no need for him to move. Not yet. Dranks follows up. And I want to kill the Valkyrie because it deals more damage. Cool kill. The boar uh, got him down. Resistance fighter has actually helped. Shattered Realm is in a tough state yet again. Ten to thirteen. 
or 7 to 10. Why would anyone take a stupid melee strike when we have the big, big gun? Only problem is we can't hit with it. <laughs> okay. Well, I think the Berserker Prime was the target we were looking for. Very good. Helping our good friend down here. Fantastic. I think we do have a problem uh, with our dreadnought, one that needs to be solved. Shinrod hits and almost kills the guy. We know there is still a fire starter somewhere. So we gotta be careful. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting there. Jarenks couldn't really use his shotgun a lot. There's the lost hack effect. Couldn't get him completely down. Oh yeah, come on. Should be our turn. Another Berserker Prime. That's a double move, right? We gotta deal with that dreadnought. Good, we're killing the ones that are inside.
Okay, that worked well. Very well. There is still an elite collector assassin in there. But also a faceless one. And a massive angry beast, which I don't want to fight, so... No. This you should get us better into position. All will suffer. That's one kill. Oh, I hope it was... Oh no, it's not even a kill. Hmm. I was hoping it would hit both. It did not though. Yeah, we're going into full cover. The Netherlands could have been better. Late storm, late storm. Revival protocol, okay, cool. Can't let him be stunned. Which then brings us to Gremlin heal. Aviator almost perished. Two berserkers went for him. Good, Aviator moves up. That Assassin also deals a bit of damage. Can't let that sit around here forever. Brings us to Timbit. Okay. Need to deal with those berserkers. Holy shit, they are dangerous. Nailed him. Ammo's 
Good. Why couldn't... It told me that this was a legal step and I could see it. Ah, uh, so frustrating. But we won't die, so it's okay. I just need to go a little bit back and we're okay. Still one resistance fighter, right? Yep. A lonely ranger that made it thus far. Starting to get caught. Let's do this. Time to get this guy down. Nice hit, good job. As a matter of principle, I want to see how this shotgun is killing someone. When it crits, it crits well, decently. Just doesn't do a lot of base damage. I think we're through. Operation Heavy Fog. I don't think that I played poor, but apparently the XCOM game is of different opinion. <clears throat> yeah, well, we lost. As always, at least we got a promotion out of it. And a couple of corpses. We immediately re-established contact and we lost some income. That's really unfortunate. I'm tr still trying to find a way of how to deal better with uh, these missions. I know it's yellow alert and I know it's not my fault, but I am thinking about how to quicker get to the other side. Cool. All skirmishers, all those freed from the Richter. Before we continue with him, let's just double check the armory, shall we? So he already has the best weapons. Now the qu uh, question here is. We give sonar this. I'm gonna have to go ahead and disagree with the decision to recover it from the field. We had a prime That would almost give us a hundred dodge, which in return increases our health pool, so we don't need as much health anymore. And we can give him the uh, the increased aim instead. I'll do that in between, but for now, let's just customize. I think from a pure speed perspective, this is actually a really decent uh, decision. Yeah, I like the out uh, outfit. So. We do have, with that, way more mobility, which is good. The grappling hook, which is fantastic. And on top of it, we got once a mission 
a free crowd control which essentially offsets the loss of uh, that extra that extra item the mine shield in this case we just need to be careful against psionic enemies and kill them faster i suppose but besides the ethereal i really didn't see any bigger need the mine shield is predominantly good against uh, against uh, the rulers and against the chosen and all of them are almost dead praetorian nanogeal under armor reduces damage taken from all sources after the first instance of damage taken in the turn provides bonus health and regeneration we got this the berserker for overdrive serum this hulking beast seems dangerous even in death be more than um, of it once I file my report. I'm wondering what else do we need? Advent Warlock, Pathfinders seem good, Praetorians, Praetorian Autopsy. Now let's just do the normal Praetorian Autopsy and I want to know. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. What we can build in terms of armor, nanogeal under armor. Got one of these bad boys. How good is it? And the question is, is it worth it? Maybe not on him, but maybe over here. So, five health, three armor, health regeneration per turn, and maximum health reach and permission is nine. Oh, wow. What, 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 what? So, reduces damage take from all weapons after the first instance by 33%. Provides an additional two hit points regeneration bonus every turn. Maximum restoring 8 hit points per mission. Massive amount of armor. Massive self-heal capabilities. Mm. I do have an idea who theoretically could benefit from it. I mean, we're not fighting against the Chosen anymore. And that here would be a fantastic option. It would uh, bring Hogbite to 28 hit points, 3 armor, 100 dodge, health regeneration, and the ability to receive less damage. Holy. All right. I mean, hmm. That's almost too good to pass by. <clears throat> If we can get a second one of uh, these, that'll be a perfect one for the Psy Operative as well. Like this in itself is essentially 8 hit points in terms of healing. The armor is absolutely invaluable, like 3 armor is crazy. But 5 health on top of it and then the ability uh, of the nano shields. Okay, now we're talking. Hogbite, you little poser. 28 hit points. Who allowed you to be just so tanky? Wow, he can he can stand pretty much in the middle of uh, the enemy and not care. He's like solidly saying, nope, today I don't care. The other option here <clears throat> would have been to give one to sonar because then his hit point pool would also in uh, still increase like that would not be too bad specifically if we get rid of the superior health we're down to like 20 hit points okay granted he has 100 uh, dodge soon but uh, still i mean There is something to be said about those Praetorians. We hopefully will get a couple more. 
and I want to build a second one of these vests. Now, in the meantime, we need 10 more dodge, and I know exactly who this dodge is going to. Damn right, it is Sonar, and he is working together with... Who's the bond mate? It was Grell, wasn't it? Aziza? Yep. Should be 9 days in ten, uh, instead of 10. We don't want any wounding. And that will be a good reward. 10 dodge. Maxes him out. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Our research was a success, Commander. Praetorian Collector is a deformed husk. Well, yay. That was a great research. Let's continue with our strategy of taking the colored ones because they are imbalanced. Or hope uh, for them being imbalanced. Metian battle suit. Okay. Got a couple new toys, guys. And I want to show them to you. Rage suit is great. Metian battle suit. So, direct comparison, Rage Suit, 7 health, 1 mobility, 2 armor, Rage ability, and, okay, Mission Suit, 8 health, so that's 9 health, so that's more, 5 armor, um, minus 2 mobility, and a couple of abilities, bombard an area with a barrage of rockets, Deploy a shield granting cover to allies. Fire an extremely powerful plasma bolt. Add melee range. Fires a rain of magnetic bolts over a wide area. And thrust a bolt into rocket knee strike. Utilize the thruster into calves of the battlesuit to deal quick disorient. I don't know, I think it is a very, 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 very strong, a very, very, very strong suit. The question is, who should get it? Diddy G already has a very strong suit. Um, Euler already has a very strong suit. And I like the mobility, which kind of brings us to Grell. Putting her into this ginormous suit would be a bit atypical for a support, but think about it, since she's the one that needs to heal, like having her in that ultra hardcore uh, suit that also has additional abilities, that wouldn't be too bad, would it? Euler, I take it, you can't take the suit? Well, you got nanogeal uh, armor, so that's not too bad. The other option is putting you into that. <laughs> okay. Good, well, so, hmm. We still need a good, a good uh, weapon for him. But, wow, I think that's not a bad choice. It would not be a bad choice on our support as well. Bombards a wide area with a barrage of rockets. I think this is just, it gets it on top of it. Not even sure if this is maybe a, an ability that you can do as often as you want. The shield covers allies, allies decreases the user, a defense user, but increases armor and dodge. Extremely powerful plasma bolt at melee range. Large thrusters allows the user to quickly reposition. 
Okay, I think it's fair to say that we want the second one of these bad boys. Don't you guys think? Oh yeah, we want a second one of these. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Bio Viper scale vest. Uh, we can now bu build that. Is that the case? New orders, Commander. Okay, so Bio Vi Viper scale vest. Upgraded nano scale vest that adds bio viper scales and immunities. Okay. Bio nano scale vest. Those things were good as well. I actually like them. I think the, sky, uh, um, uh, the scale vest might even be a little bit better. Saturation strike module. Uh, set strike does greater damage than the advent orbital strikes that we don't know. Will destroy cover and buildings if in the area. Okay, well, if you say so, then uh, it might be the case. So, how does that work? Still want the brain core. That looks really good. Mimic beacon, napalm grenade, rift beacon, viper rounds. Okay, no. Um, set strike does greater damage than the advent orbital strikes. Will destroy cover and buildings if in target area. I have no idea what it does. Uh, I have no idea what it does, but it sounds quite bad. Like, in a way that it deals a lot of damage bad. Brute Gauntlet. Okay, what is this? See, that's the disadvantage now. We're having a bit too much going on, and I need to still double check where did we get all of that uh, let's use the specialist Root gauntlet. How do I use it? What is it? Where is that root gauntlet? Mind shield, lure. I have too much installed. I am not sure where this brood gauntlet is. Bulpap, gauze, helix, sniper, shard, vector, auto cannon. No, it's not a weapon. Is it? I, didn't I just build it? Hey, commander. Um, no. Didn't it just say I I built that brood gauntlet? We're going to get another one of these battle suits because they are super imbalanced. Um. Hmm. Brute Gauntlet. Hmm. 
No, it's not a tactic. It must be somewhere. Commander. Inventory. Brute gauntlet. Seeing how this is a weapon was not for creation of our doing, it's fair to say that it might be the only one we get. It seems to work on a symbiotic connection with the gauntlet wearer. What does that even mean? Br brute gauntlet. Is that something that you put into the heavy weapon slot? Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. My bad, wasn't immediately obvious. So, damage 5 to 8, bonus critical damage 2. Okay, one clip size, large, uh, large range. Range 25, the range here. Okay, so a smaller radius. The brute gaunting is a living organism. Use its tongue pull ability to pull allies up to a higher elevation away uh, from enemy advances. Okay. The brute gauntlet allows the user to call uh, living rippers that can be used as scouts units and living mobile needles. Okay. And it's also a flamethrower. Okay, so you are telling me it does a pull, it creates scouts, and on top of it it's a flamethrower. It seems pretty imbalanced. You know, there's only one way to describe that. We were just lacking a proper heavy weapon. So... Wouldn't it be more fitting to put kind of a brute gauntlet in the middle of a ultramarine armor? Exactly. I thought the exact same thing. Um, this looks interesting. The pull is cool. Together with flying up um, with that uh, with that thruster, it might not be bad. And the flamethrower is just the uh, icing on the cake. I like the idea of scouting with the little rippers. No clue how often you can use uh, them, but that sounds good. Sure you will find the to be as as I do. Advanced Battlefield Medicine. Okay, uh, that's our number one priority because I have been literally dying to get that project going. Okay, well, we need another biofaceless one, Praetorians, and one more biofaceless corpse. Commander, the lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting. Okay, what else do we need? Us with Black eyes is potentially something imbalanced as well. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. A modified version of our skull check. Once complete, should be able to uh, use it against the allies. By modifying one of our blue screen rounds, try to carry a weaponized version of Black Eyes Protocol that Chen has developed, our soldiers will pose considerable threat to Advent robotic units. Okay, we are going to double check that in a second, but this sounds again quite imbalanced. Should have gotten all of the imbalanced stuff first. Still need to find out what that module does. Wipe arounds, mimic beacon, dark folk, new. Is it yet again proving grounds? Uh, carry a net weaponized version. Okay, we just need to kill a black eyes in order to get that. Cool. 
Well, that's the problem with too many enemies. You never get that unless you're playing like ultra, ultra, ultra long campaigns. Remove negative traits, yes please, and let's go on. Find our results have exceeded expectations. Type 1 Rage Vest. Any shots fired at the unit wearing this vest will build rage, which increases the primary weapon damage next turn. Grenade that disables weapons. Okay, well these sound more moderate, kind of modest little gimmicks. As initial just give the word and I'll get started commander so rage west needs legionnaire corpses which we of course don't have and that disabling disabling grenade ceasefire grenade also needs legionnaire corpses Generally cool, but unfortunately not good for us. Fedo Krito is still on the line. Commander, but there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate. The good. Do we have any form of extra energy? In the rewards, no. We need more energy. Yeah, we need more energy, that's the biggest concern, or another higher resistance contact. Hive armor wings. We can now add hive armor uh, attachments to the hive queen armor. These wings grant uh, us the ability to quickly get elevated to high ground as well as powerful dive bomb attack. Um, we don't have the queen armor yet. Am I missing something? No, no, no. Hmm. <sighs> How? Hive drone tech, good. Hive armor tech. How do I get the the queen armor? I mean, we killed her. Hello, commander. Okay. Let's double check. So, if you were to go into your loadout, right? Do you just get the wings? No. Are they a heavy weapon again? Which would be a bit strange because we already have a heavy weapon. No. Secondary? No. Gosh. That's one thing about mods and not describing things well enough that I personally dislike. We can now attach wings to our uh, to our armor. Yep. Okay. No shit, Sherlock. But what does that mean? Like, what does it mean concretely? How do I do that? Personal combat sim? No. It's obviously not a weapon either. Okay, somehow, somewhere, there are wings. Um, no, that's not our mission. That's also not our mission. 
that's our mission. What are we going up against? 37. Well, that's cool. Uh, we do have quite a few enemies actually that are helpful. The bio ones are very helpful. Unfortunately, no Praetorians, but we will get them. Good. Yeah, we're we're going to do that one. Uh, that's a job for the second team again. And hopefully, hopefully very soon we can uh, get the, uh, a reward in the resistance ring that allows us to get extra extra energy. Engineer, supplies. Scientist, this is not bad. That's the cultist base, which we likely want to have in order to kill them. Destroy Raider HQ, that's good as well. 12 days and 10 days to locate the cultist base, which I think we should do first, and then we are destroying the Raiders uh, base. So the last two factions are about to be killed. Which then also means we're currently not getting the extra, uh, the extra energy if worst comes to worst at some point we can just demolish the laboratory because we have researched everything and then we're just going from there it's not good but it is better than nothing yeah in order to do that i need to upgrade it and i can't do that with insufficient power we're a little bit stuck with that Could get rid of defense matrix, but I don't want that either. We do have just few XCOM points, unfortunately. Well, we're going to get more. And maybe one of the things that we could do is give Grell uh, the option uh, to get Salvo, because then when she has the Mithian suit that I want to get for her as well, she can even use uh, that uh, very effectively. So we would have another Meteor suit that we need uh, to get and uh, another vest, both of which should be fine. And then the third one is this brain, um, well, brain something, the exalted custodian grandmaster, every enemy is debuffed or something along those lines. Sounded incredibly imbalanced to me. So we're going to get that. We, do, we do have the Rift Beacon, which is easy peasy as well. We just need to uh, equip all of uh, the other soldiers. Uh, I'm not going to build the Rift, um, what's it called? Rift Anchors or, or whatnot, uh, because they take a lot of Elarium cores and we're short on cores. Anyways, this brings us to the end of today's mission. If you want to donate a couple of alien corpses that we need in order to do our research, feel free to do that. The right way of doing it is uh, clicking on the like button and sending it to psychon.place at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.